Mm, hello, humans of the universe, heroes, villains, and everything in between. I'm Lot Pokemon, and today we're talking about friends. Yes, everyone's favorite heartwarming sitcom about friendship, and one of the most iconic shows in history. Today, we're taking a stab at one of its most popular characters, if not its most popular, Rachel Karen Green. So let me first talk about how the series is going to work. I'm going to cover the story and history of each of the main six friends character. The reason why I started with Rachel is because she's by far the most popular character. I looked it up. It said that Rachel was the most popular her and Chandler. Then Phoebe and Joey, then Monica and Ross. By the way, my favorite character is Phoebe, then Joey, then Chandler. Then my bottom three are Rachel, Monica, and Ross. Anyways, let's get this started. I'll spit up into main categories the first one being her upbringing her story and her story in the show her personality and her end and maybe some fun facts so first we'll start with her youth her upbringing was pretty good she has rich parents and two sisters she's the oldest and the only one dad's proud of and then he told me to come here and learn about the value of money from the one daughter he's actually proud of <gasps> did you hear that but it's proud of me. But it's proud of me. <laughs> Rage. Oh, yes, right. With May being the middle child and Jill being the youngest. We hear several times throughout the show that she is very spoiled. And that's one of the things that she has overcome throughout the show and become independent. Her parents also get divorced in the show. Her birthday is on May 5th at the start of the show. She is 23. And her character, I would say, has the most screen time. The writers have... S- said before David Crane and Marta Kaufman that a lot of the big beats revolved around Rachel. Like the whole first two seasons, Rachel and Ross, then again at Ross's wedding with Emily, then with their daughter, Emma. In her early days, we see she is a naive, spoiled girl, and she learns and changes, getting a job, starting out as a waitress, and then becoming an executive by the end. We do see her say, every now and then that she's not actually good at her job but we see her change she gets sad when she doesn't get the job as a buyer in the poker episode she grows as a person of course we can see that as we watch the show she becomes a better person and a more independent person she's also funny and kind yes she makes mistakes and can be mean we see this most when she loses marcel when she dates john claude van damme even when she knew monica liked him Also, when Monica gets engaged, she goes and kisses Ross. She's lived with a lot of them, most notably being Monica, of course. But in season 6, when Monica and Chandler move in together, she she was originally going to live with Ross. But when she found out that they were still married, they got into a fight. And she ended up moving in with Phoebe. Then Rachel burned the house down and moved in with Joey after the open floor plan. Then she moves in with Ross because he wants to spend more time with the baby. She gets pregnant with Emma in season 8 and has her in season 9. She is, of course, Ross's baby. She has dated many people in the show, the most notably, of course, being Ross. She has also dated Joshua and Mark. I'm hurt. I'm actually hurt that you would think I would send you any of those things out of anything other than love. Hurt. <laughs> hurt. All right, Ross, I get it. I mean, my You're God, hurt. can't can a guy send a barbershop quartet to his girlfriend's office anymore? <laughs> Please, Ross, it was so obvious. It was like you were marking your territory. I mean, you might as well have just come in and peed all around my desk. <laughs> I would never do that. I know what's going on here, okay? Mark explained it all to me. He said, this is what you guys do. Yeah, well, if if Mark said that, then Mark's an idiot. Oh, and I would be remiss if I didn't mention the break. We were on a break! Anyways, Ross was getting all jealous and annoying, so they got in a fight, and Rachel said maybe we should just take a break, and then Ross slept with another woman, and Rachel got mad, even though they were on a break. Tell me what you think in the comments. And by the way, it seems to be perfectly clear that you were on a break. (gasps) But at the end of the show, she gets with Ross, and they presumably have a happy ending. Oh, um, there's a fan fun fact here. She has kissed every other friend. She, of course, kisses Ross in season two in the rain at night outside of Central Perk. She kisses Joey when they date in season nine. Then Monica when they get their apartment bar back. So we have a backup offer. 
Oh, no, no, no. No more offers. You can't offer anything to us. Let us keep the apartment. And as a thank you, Rachel and I will kiss for one minute. She kisses Phoebe in the episode with Renona Ryder, plays Rachel's friend. She claims she kissed, and it was the one crazy thing she did. At the end, Ryder's character admits that she remembers the kiss. After Rachel kisses her. You know what? I'll just play the clip for you. Anyway, his name's Alan, and we've been going out for three years. He was my first client when I became a party planner. He was actually planning a party for his girlfriend at the time. Uh, oh well. No. Um, and he was Theta Beta Pi at Syracuse. Oh, oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. mm. Phoebe, were you ever in a sorority? Of course, yeah. I was a um, thigh mega tampon. <laughs> what one? Yeah, you know, we were really huge too, but then they had to shut us down when Regina Falange died of alcohol poisoning. Oh. Isn't it a shame when one girl ruins it for the whole bunch? Mm, mm -hmm, mm. Mm. <laughs> anyway, speaking of drinking too much, I was uh, telling Phoebe about that one crazy night after the Sigma Chi Luau where you and I, uh, we made out. What? Remember, we come on, we both we had the sarongs on, and we had the the coconut bikini tops. Yeah. We went back to the house, and we got really silly, and we we made out. Oh wow, Ray Ray, I I have no idea what you're talking about. Really? <laughs> How can you not remember us kissing? I don't know. I don't remember a lot of things that never happened. <laughs> Remember, we were on the sleeping porch. We couldn't stop giggling, and our coconuts kept knocking together. Oh, somewhere Joey's head is exploding. <laughs> Come on, listen, I'm sorry. I don't want to make you uncomfortable, but I told Phoebe that it happened, and she doesn't believe me. I'm sorry, Ray Ray. I mean, if I thought it happened, I would say it. Maybe I passed out, and you did stuff to me while I was sleeping. No! Okay, fine. You don't have to admit it. Because I know that it happened. Okay. No, you have to admit it! We kissed! Say it! <laughs> Rachel, it's okay. You don't have to do this, all right? I believe you. Okay, if, if you say that you kissed Melissa, then you kissed Melissa. Thank you, Phoebe. Okay. She didn't. No, I know. <laughs> it happened. I am telling you, it happened. Okay. Hey. Uh, it was great meeting you. And, uh, Rachel, I, I don't think I'll be calling you because, um, you know, you've gotten weird. Um, take care, you guys. What? Wait a minute. No, wait a minute. Okay, look. That night was the one wild thing I have ever done in my entire life, and I'm not gonna let you take that away from me. Okay, so if you don't remember that, maybe you will remember this. You love me. <laughs> what? Of course I remember our kiss. I think about it all the time. I can still hear the coconuts knocking together. I... I just didn't want to tell you because I didn't think you'd return my love. And now that you have... Whoa, 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 whoa. God, look at this being suddenly shy. <laughs> You can't tell me you don't feel what I feel. Nobody can kiss that good. Not mean it. I'm, 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 just, I'm just a good kisser. Shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> oh, you don't have to be sorry. I'm, I'm obviously kidding. <laughs> I'm not in love with you. I'm in love with her. I, I don't hear coconuts banging together. <laughs> yeah, I don't hear Picture your face when I make love to my boyfriend. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go. I... Kiss goodbye? No? Okay. <laughs> wow. I mean, 
mean, I had no idea that that was... <laughs> what the hell was that? Just wanted to see what all the fuss was about. <laughs> and? I felt better. She kisses Chandler two times, the first one when she's in high school and he was in college at the party again. I'll play the clip. But I go somewhere where there's sun, so I'm sort of... Hey! I'm in college and I'm in a band. Yeah, okay. And the second time was when Chandler was French kissed everyone. <laughs> okay, I gotta go to work. Uh, Rachel, great to have you back. <laughs> Phoebes! <laughs> Always a pleasure. Her ending seems pretty happy. She seems to go on and marry Ross and have a happy family. Maybe. Having one more kid. No more breaks. <laughs> Uh, that's me signing off. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So stay you, stay cool, stay weird. Oh, and like and subscribe if you feel like it. See ya.